the debate. The order was drawn by a lot prior to the debate. Uh, Mr. Cunningham will begin with, the, with his opening statement. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jack Cunningham. I'm the Bethlehem Town Supervisor. I've served in this capacity for the last two and a half years. It's been a great honor and privilege to uh, work as Town Supervisor. Um, many of you know, may know me. I grew up in this town. Uh, I was the youngest of five boys, lived over on Ellesmere Avenue. Graduated from St. Thomas School, graduated from Bethlehem Central. I've got 32 years of banking experience. I've worked in different areas of banking, including retail banking. I've been a commercial lender, municipal accounts officer. I've worked in cash management. In the last 10 years of my banking career, I've worked in information technology. All those uh, experiences have uh, helped me greatly in uh, performing the duties of this position because this position is very diverse. It calls on all those talents uh, from your town supervisor. Um, beyond that, I've, uh, I've, uh, ju I'm just going to close by deferring the rest of my time so we can get another question in, and thank you all for being here today. And uh, Mr. Messina. Thank you very much, Mr. Cunningham. Mr. Messina. Well, thank you, Bill. I want to thank the Spotlight, the League, the people that are here taking time out of their evening, Channel 18, for your uh, participation, because this is truly the best way that government can be in action. Resumes, background, mean less than what we deliver in terms of service. But you should know about your candidates. Um, I have uh, three children. My wife, Janet, is here. One of my daughters, Valerie, is here. Tracy and Matthew are not. I've lived in this community 35 years. I love the community. My background is uh, bachelor's and master's degree, master's in public administration, advanced work at the Kennedy School at Harvard after that. But as I said, it's what you do with that that really counts or should count. There's always more to do, but I've had leadership positions in the private sector and public sector. I've been director of administration and management, Department of State, New York State government, and uh, I had a thousand people. Information technology, budget, and nine other programs. And I've been in business as well. Let me tell you that from my point of view, starting with Terry Egan, this was a really exciting and wonderful government to work in. That's why I ran, that's why I'm on the town board. I'm in the Independence Party because I believe in independence. And I've seen no independence and very little leadership over the past two years. We have become politicized. There's too much political control. There's too much aggressiveness. There's too much power. There's not enough openness. There's not enough team building. And I know I've been dealing with that for the past two years. If we don't get our politics right, None of our solutions will work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Messina. Mr. Cunningham, my first question goes to you. Uh, we enjoy many services here in Bethlehem, but surely there are some that, we, that could be adjusted so that we could save money. Uh, what are some of the cuts you would make in, in order to keep taxes low? Well, uh, that's a very good question. Um, we have been cutting uh, for the last two years uh, in this town government. Uh, the services that we provide were our core services to our community, which we're required to, to provide as a, as a town government. Um, just uh, over the last two years, uh, in our water budget alone, we've reduced the cost of that operation, our DPW operation, by $1.2 million, 9%. Uh, we'll probably have additional reductions in, in expenditures there this year. Uh, in addition, uh, as we talked about earlier, from our 2009 approved budget, uh, in response to the downturn of the economy, we eliminated expenses, some of them uh, due to the fact that gasoline prices have gone down, but other real expenses. We've eliminated positions in our town government uh, because uh, through attrition in order to uh, uh, reduce the cost of the overall cost of town government in order to um, keep our expenditures low. There's not a lot of low-lying fruit there, uh, and anybody that leads you to believe that otherwise is misleading you. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that we can't still manage our costs, and that's what we're doing very closely. We watch our budget on a regular basis. Um, and uh, right now, I do not plan on cutting any further into town services. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, we are able to uh, continue operations uh, unchanged through 2010 with the current budget uh, that we plan. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Cunningham. Mr. Messina. Thank you, Bill. <clears throat> I'd like to address four issues. The budget, yesterday I proposed a plan to save money so we could keep our tax increase at zero. I'm not sure if all of my recommendations were right on target, but I asked the town board to consider that between now and November 20th when the budget has to be legally adopted. My sense is we needed to send a signal to the community that we feel your pain. People are losing their homes because they can't pay the taxes. And all I asked was for my colleagues to look at that proposal, which did involve a reduction of 5% of board salaries, 10% of the supervisor's salary, which we could do. Did not impact our fine staff. I'm glad we can give them 1.5%. I wish in the economy we could give them more. Supervisor talks about a million dollar savings. $600,000 is in fuel costs. Uh, the other is in deferred maintenance put off into the future. Capital planning. I have proposed a capital plan two and a half years ago. The supervisor and I agreed that I would implement that capital plan. He took that away from me, and I had the experience to do it for this town. That cost this town money, and it was taken away because I didn't support a couple of appointments that I felt were not good for the job. There is no planning, there's no direction, there's no leadership to a wonderful town and to a wonderful town staff that knows how to save a couple bucks so we don't have to increase taxes. Thank you very much, Mr. Messina. Mr. Messina, the second question goes to you. Would you support a stronger ethics law for Bethlehem town officials and how would you promote transparency in town politics? Is that two questions or one? That is uh, two parts of the same question. I would uh, support a stronger uh, ethics law. We have one in place. It's mostly pro forma. It deals with organization. It deals with potential uh, conflict of interest. It deals with uh, outside activities. I think we need to revisit an ethics law in this town that was last updated in 1970. Uh, I would consider adding to that uh, the law things like the appropriateness or not of having uh, political chairs or vice chairs serve on the town board or supervisor, as Mr. Cunningham does as vice chair of the Democratic Party. I think we need to look at whether or not we should have lobbyists serving on our town board, which we did have under Mr. Sup Mr. Uh, Cunningham, and we do now. Uh, as our deputy supervisor. I think we have to look also at whether or not people on the town board can uh, also work for the supervisor in other political capacities, like Mr. Coteri does now as his public relations advanced person, and Mr. Hennessy does now maintaining his website. You cannot have loyalties in that direction and balance them out toward the town. Transparency, I've argued for two years to have town board meetings around town, to open up government, to televise these things so that people have access to them, to expand our agenda, which almost everyone has raised at town board meetings. There are almost no cost to these things, and there's an unwillingness to even really sit down and discuss them. That's an attitudinal difference. It's not one that can't be done. It's that they don't want openness. Public relations is what this town board is about, not public information. Thank you very much, Mr. Messina. I should leave that question. If I can find it. <laughs> would you support a stronger ethics law for Bethlehem town officials, and what would you do to promote open government? Well, that's, um, thank you. Uh, just as a point of clarification, Mr. Hennessy does not maintain my website, and Mr. Coteri is not my advance man. 